Giving all honor, glory, 
and praises to the Most High to His Son, double honors to the elder, honors to you brothers, honors to you sisters. Just thanking the Most High and His Son for another opportunity to get it right, another opportunity to learn, and another opportunity, brothers and sisters, to repent. That's right, to prove ourselves worthy. Passover season is amongst us, brothers and sisters. Uh, we pass over to the Southeast Battalion, uh, spitting love, prosperity, and blessings to all you brothers and sisters, man. Good class today, brothers and sisters. And today's class topic is rejoice for the marriage of the Lamb has come and the wife has made herself ready. Brothers and sisters, throughout the scripture, our relationship the most high to his son, our salvation, brothers and sisters, our journey is linked to marriage and to a wedding and to a relationship. And brothers and sisters, when the marriage of the lamb has come and the wife has made herself ready, brothers and sisters, this wife is us. That's right. That's right. See. And this today's class topic, brothers and sisters, will bring clarity to our journey as that wife as it, which has made herself ready. Going into Psalms, chapter 149, verse 1. Psalms, chapter 149, verse 1. Will you get the brother read? Psalm, chapter 149. Praise ye the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song. And his praise in the congregation of saints. Read. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Read. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praises unto him with the timbrel and harp. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. Sister, so little do we know the Lord, he taketh pleasure in us. And through us does the Father receive his glory. Read. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people. Read. To bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron to execute upon them the judgment written. This honor hath all his saints. Brothers and sisters, one thing we must understand, brothers and sisters, we dealing with this word is judgment. That's right. That dealing with this word, brothers and sisters, is called judgment. That's right. But how do we yield it, brothers and sisters, with this double-edged sword? Give me Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. You no, know, one thing that is in our nature, brothers and sisters, is to always dis out judgment to others. Judge others. What does scripture say about that, brother? Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. Brothers and sisters, one thing about a two-edged sword, brothers and sisters, the more you hold it, the more you use it, the more you swing it, brothers and sisters, the more it cuts your own self. That's right. For the blade is two-edged. The more we take this word, brothers and sisters, the more we judge, brothers and sisters, the deeper we cut our own selves. For as it is written, the word is a two-edged sword, brothers and sisters, the sword is the blade and the sword is the handle. So understanding our journey as becoming that wife which has made herself ready, brothers and sisters, one thing we must understand is ourselves and our first estate. And that's Adam. Give me second entry, chapter 6, verse 54. Second Edris, chapter 6 and verse 54. Now you get the brother read. Second Edris, chapter 6, verse 54. And after these, Adam also, 
whom thou madest Lord over all thy creatures. Since we all can agree that Adam, who does not make his Lord over all thy creatures, brothers and sisters, but we must understand, brothers and sisters, there are two Adams. Two. The first Adam, which is saying to brothers and sisters, and made Lord of all thy creatures, read. Of him come we all, and the people of whom thou hast chosen. And then the people come from Adam whom thou hast chosen. So it's making a distinction from this Adam. In a second, let's get that in Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. When you get the brother, read. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 and God said let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth so God created man in his image and the image of God created he him Look at Genesis chapter 2, verse. Where we keep finish that out, brother. Verse 28. Male and female created he them. And God blessed them. And God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply. And replenish the earth and subdue it. Go to now give me Genesis 2 and 7. Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. And the Lord God formed man. Of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living soul so, so this journey is becoming that old first Adam to our journey becoming living souls brothers and sisters let's get clarity on that give me second edges chapter 3 verse 5 second edges chapter 3 verse 5 brothers and sisters going from that first Adam brothers and sisters which is a, a soul that's being brothers and sisters talking birds into a living spirit which is Christ, which is truth. When you get the brother, read. Second Edges, chapter 3, verse 5. And gave us a body unto Adam without soul. And gave us a body unto Adam without soul, brothers and sisters, speaking on us at our first estate. Mm. You, brother, you, sister, walking around here with no soul. Bring it out. Read. Which was the workmanship of thine hand. Read. And didst breathe into him the breath of life. And he was made living before thee. And he was made living, brothers and sisters. This is the conversion of their soulless being, brothers and sisters, to a conversion of a living spirit. Let's get some more on that first Adam, that soulless being. Second, Andrews 3 and 21. Verse 21. For the first Hold Adam. On. Read that soul before the what? For the first Adam. For the what? For the first Talk Adam. Talking about you, brothers. Talking about you, sister. You in your first estate. Before you receive the knowledge of the truth, before you repent and confess your sins and begin to walk in Christ, bring it out. After you put that old man to death and resurrected, for all things are double one against another. You got death, you have resurrection, life and death, affection, neglect, good and evil, light, darkness. Read, read that from the top again. For the first Adam, bearing a wicked heart, transgressed and was overcome. Read. And so be all they that are born of him. And so be that all they that are born of him. Talking about us. We all are born of that first Adam. Let's go back. He hold that, brother. Second Edges 6 and 54. Second Edges, chapter 6, verse 54. And after these. Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures. Of him come we all. Of him come we all. Of him come we all. Brothers and sisters, time for us to repent, confess, and submit. We have problems in the flesh here, man. That's right. That we need Christ. That's right. That this flesh must be put to death. That That's through right. Christ we must resurrect. That converge from the old into the new. Let's go back. Second, go back to second Edges 3 and 21. Second Edges chapter 3, verse 21. Read for the first Adam bearing a wicked heart, transgressed. Trans what? Transgressed. Read. And was overcome. And so be all 
they that are born of him. Brothers and sisters, everybody operating their flesh shall be overcome. That's right. Everyone operating their flesh will die to death. That's right. The flesh profits nothing, brothers and sisters. It is the spirit of a brother, the spirit of a sister that quickened him. The only thing that you could guarantee in the flesh, brothers and sisters, is words eating your rotten corpse. That's right. Decay and death is the only thing guaranteed to the flesh. Teach. Let's escape it while we have a chance. Crucify the flesh while we have a chance. Rise, resurrect through Christ while we have a chance. Brothers and sisters, it's time for us to rejoice. The marriage of the Lamb has come. That's right. The wife has made herself ready. Brother, since you made yourself ready, mind it out. Have you truly went deep down inside, brothers and sisters, to the reins of your heart and made yourself ready, brothers and sisters? Purge not all leaven, all evil and malice within. Brothers and sisters, walking around here full of darkness, but I want to confess that, man. That's right. That deep down in our core, man, we love darkness rather than light. Bring it out. We do. Let's get some clarity on that. Read on up. Thus, infirmity was made permanent. And the law also in the heart of the people with the malignity of the root. The law, brothers and sisters, man, the flesh, everybody going outwardly, man. Worried about the outwardly things. How I outwardly look. Judging things off the outwardly. That's right. That's what we have been programmed to do, brothers and sisters. Is That's to right. judge outwardly, man. Teach. Read. So that the good departed away. So that the good depart away. When we do these things, brothers and sisters, the good depart. It does. Some of us don't even love ourselves because of outwardly things. The good departs away. Read. And the evil abode still. And the evil abode still. Read. So the times pass away. That's all I want on that. Give me a second. As a matter of fact, jump down to verse 26. Verse 26. And in all things did even as Adam and all his generation Read. had done. For they also had a wicked as heart. As long as operated that old man, brothers and sisters, we are sons of this first Adam. Let's the man repent and confess and submit, brothers and sisters. We are this first Adam. Let's get some more of this, brothers and sisters, about our first estate. Give me wisdom of Solomon, chapter 13, verse 1. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 13, verse 1. When you get the brother read. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 13. Surely vain are all men by nature. Scriptures say we are vain by nature. By default, brother. By default, sister, we are vain. Mm, bring it out. By default. We are vain. By default, brothers and sisters, we are that first Adam with a wicked heart. By default, we who are ignorant of God. By default, brothers and sisters, we are ignorant of God. We are, man. We are. Read. And could not, out of the good things that are seen, know him that is. Read. Neither by considering the works did they acknowledge the work master. Brothers and sisters, we don't consider nothing. We don't consider nothing. But how to eat, how to drink, and how to survive. Only thing we consider, brothers and sisters, are beastly instincts. That's right. All we want to do is have sex, eat, and drink. Bring it out. That's all we want to do. That's all we care about. That's right, T. Beastly to the core. Equal to the Father. Scripture says, man, surely all men are vain by nature, brothers and sisters. It's time for us to repent. It's time. Put that old man to death and resurrect to make ourselves worthy of the marriage. Give me Psalms chapter 89, verse 47. Psalms chapter 89, verse 47. When you get the brother read, Psalm chapter 89, verse 7. Verse 47. Verse 47. Remember how short my time is. Wherefore, has thou made all men in vain? Read. What man is he that liveth and shall not see death? Shall he deliver his soul from the hand of the grave? Brothers and sisters, again, you know, 
some are in their youth, some are passed over to the age, the old age, beginning of the old, the grades. Brothers and sisters, nothing under the sun, brothers and sisters. Long as we walk here in this flesh, brothers and sisters, this is a cycle that we cannot break. That we all shall see death. Some of us, we take it for granted, man, we do. You know, we do. Especially when it comes to fearing the most high in the sun, man, we take these things for granted, man. But let's get back on track, man. Just wanted to show you how fragile, how frail and delicate this flesh is. That's right. Going back to Second Edris, chapter three, verse twenty-one. When you get the brother read Second Edris, chapter three, verse twenty-one. For the first Adam, for the first Adam, brother, sister, you, brother, you, sister, in your first estate, read bearing a wicked heart, transgressed. And was overcome. And so be all they that are born of him. Go down to verse 26. Verse 26. And in all things did even as Adam and all his generations. All the done. generations after him, brothers and sisters, with the same spirit. This is a spiritual book. Before that living soul came, before we was out, before we were without living spirit, read. For they also had a wicked heart. We had a what? A wicked heart. Before we find Christ, we have a what? A wicked heart. Before we walk as a living spirit, we have what? A wicked heart. Read. And so thou gavest thy city over into the hands of thine enemies. Brothers, now you give your mind over to the hands of the enemy, brothers and sisters. You give your body over to the hands of the, of the enemies, brothers and sisters. Read. Are their deeds then any better? that inhabit Babylon, that they should therefore have the dominion over Zion. Read. For when I came thither and had seen impieties without number, then my soul saw many evildoers in this 30th year, so that my heart failed. Brothers and sisters, you look around and see your heart fail. Had that old man still dwelt inside, and it fell with you, man. And it fell with you. Read. For I have seen how thou sufferest them sinning, and has spared wicked doers, and has destroyed thy people, and has preserved thine enemies, and has not signified it. So let's stop there. Let's get the conversion. Give me 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 1. So Paul not saying the same thing. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 1. When you get the brother read. First Corinthians chapter 15. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand. Read. By which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you. Let's just keep these things in memory, brothers and sisters. Read. Unless ye have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received. How that Christ died for our sins, according to the scripture. Brothers and sisters, what does this death resemble? Christ died for our sins and resurrected. What, is, what does it resemble? Down to verse 12. Read. Verse 12. Now if Christ be preached that he rose from the dead, how say some among you that there is no resurrection of the dead? Hold on, my brother, looking for people to actually rise about the dead, brothers and sisters. But what does this actually mean? Spiritually, how does this tie into our salvation? How do these words save? Find it out. Read. But if there be no resurrection of the dead, then is Christ not risen? Read. And if Christ be not risen, then is our preaching vain? And your faith is also vain. Read. Yea, and we are found false witnesses of God. Because we have testified of God that he raised up Christ. That he did what? That he raised up Christ. That he did what? That he raised up Christ. Raised you up, brother. Raised you up, sister. Read. Whom he raised not up. If so be that, the dead rise not. Read. For if the dead rise not, 
then is not Christ raised. Ooh. And if Christ be not raised, your faith is vain. Ye are yet in your sin. Brother and sister, unless you raise up out of the dust, out of death, brother and sister, you are still in sin. That's right. Ooh. Then they also, which are fallen asleep in Christ, are perished. If in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are of all men most miserable. Ooh. But now is Christ risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept. For since by man came death, by man came also the resurrection of the dead. Ooh. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Brothers and sisters, do Adam we all die, brothers and sisters, but in Christ we be made alive. That's right. right. Time to see these things in our mind, brothers and sisters, crucifying that old man. Killing off the old man, the old conversation, brothers and sisters, and walking the newness of life, resurrecting, brothers and sisters, while we have the chance. That's right. Putting all our members, all our thoughts into subjection, brothers and sisters, and ultimately receiving his word, embodying his word, brothers and sisters. Read. But every man in his own order, Christ the first fruits. Afterward, they that are Christ. Give me second Ezra chapter 7, verse 46. When you get the brother, read. Second Edges. Verse 43, brother. Chapter 7, verse 43. But the day of doom shall be the end of this time and the beginning of the immortality for to come. Read. Wherein corruption is past. Intemperance is at an end. Infidelity is cut off. Listen, brothers and sisters, all things are double one against another. Understand, look at these characteristics that belong to the old man. Corruption, intemperance, infidelity. Read. Righteousness is grown, and the truth is sprung up. Then shall no man be able to save him that is destroyed, nor to oppress him that hath gotten the victory. But brothers and sisters, watch this. Read. I answered then and said, This is my first and last saying, that it had been better not to have given the earth unto Adam. Or else, when it was given him to have restrained him from sinning. Read. For what profit is it for man now in this present time to live in heaviness and after death to look for punishment? Bro, what profit is a man to live in heaviness and after the death to look for a punishment? But, brothers and sisters, these next precepts incline our ear, brothers and sisters, because it is talking directly to us in our core. The ones that don't want to profess Christ, confess Christ, the ones that don't want to change, the ones that don't want to walk as Christ, brothers and sisters, look at your, look at your faith and read your faith. Read. Oh, thou Adam. Oh, thou old man. Read. What hast thou done? For though it was thou that sinned, thou art not fallen alone. But we all that come of thee, read. For what profit is unto us if there be promised us an immortal time? Brothers and sisters, it's promised to us an immortal time if we repent, we confess, brothers and sisters, and we die to death. Brothers, if you die right now, brothers and sisters, you don't have to worry about dying. But since we want to hold on, man, to the old man, since we want to hold on to our old habits, our old conversation, read. Whereas we have done the works that bring death. We want to do works that bring death. The Father already telling us immortality is promised to us, brother. Promised to your sister that Christ already defeated death. Already gave us the cure. But yet we still want to hold on. Read on. And that there is promised us an everlasting hope. Whereas ourselves being most wicked are made vain. Read. And that there are laid up for us dwellings of health and safety. Brothers and sisters, the Father promises health and safety. But what 
does the flesh choose to do? Read. Whereas we have lived wickedly. We want to live wickedly. Read. And that the glory of the Most High is kept to defend them which have led a worry life. These words read. Whereas we have walked in the most wicked ways of all. We walk in wicked ways. Read. And that there should be shown a paradise whose fruit endureth forever, wherein is security and medicine, since we shall not enter into it. For we have walked in unpleasant places. Read. And that the faces of them which have used abstinence shall shine above the stars. Brothers and sisters that had the brothers and sisters that had the ability to discipline and say no to rebuke themselves. Brothers and sisters to rebuke their fleshly lusts. Read. Whereas our faces shall be blacker than darkness. For while we lived and committed iniquity, we considered not that we should begin to suffer for it after death. Brothers and sisters, so they, the narrative is you know, death is painful. You know, let's say you get shot. You, you, you suffer pain until you die. But brothers and sisters, the scriptures say, we consider not that we should begin to suffer for it after death. Read. Then answered he me and said, this is the condition of the battle, which man that is born upon the earth shall fight. Read. That. If he be overcome, he shall suffer as thou hast said. You rather be overcome with this old man. Brother and sister, the biggest enemy is yourself. That's your right. old way. That's right. Time for the same to the Lord to do something. Read. But if he get the victory, he shall receive the thing that I say. Brothers and sisters, time for us to get the victory, brothers and sisters, to prepare for the things that have been promised to us. Let's get some on the last Adam. Let's go to the second address. 26 and 36. Let's make sure we understand and fulfilling our duty as Israelites. Understanding what an Israelite is. Fulfilling our duty as servants. You now we call ourselves Israelites, but what is an Israelite? What is it? What does it mean to your salvation? You know, 2nd Edges 3 and 26. 2nd okay. Edges 3 and 26. As a matter of fact, brother, start at verse 30. Second Edges, chapter 3, verse 30. For I have seen how thou sufferest them sinning, and hast spared wicked doers, and hast destroyed thy people, and hast preserved thine enemies, and hast not signified it. I do not remember how this way may be left, and they then of Babylon better than they of Zion. Read. Or is this any other people that knoweth thee, Besides Israel. So brothers and sisters, we have the first Adam. Let's go to let's go back. Second edge, start right to the second edge of three and five. So the evolution of things, brothers and sisters. Second edge of three and five. When you get the brother read. Verse five. And gave us a body unto Adam without soul. So brothers and sisters, first we started without soul. Okay, brothers and sisters, you follow me. And first we started without soul. Give me verse 21. Verse 21. For the first Adam, bearing a wicked heart. Brothers and sisters, we started off without soul, bearing a wicked heart. We all were out of mother's womb. We started without soul, bearing a wicked heart. But finish verse 5. Verse 5. Which was the workmanship of thine hand. Read. And didst breathe into him the breath of life. And he was made living before thee. Now we have free will, brothers and sisters, to choose life and death. Now, brothers and sisters, where are we at next? Verse 33. Verse 33. Hello, verse, start of verse 32. Verse 32. Or is there any other people that knoweth thee besides Israel? Read. Or what generation had so believed thy covenants as Jacob? Read. And yet their reward appeareth not, and their labor hath no fruit. For I have gone here and there through the heathen, and I had seen, and I see that they flow in wealth, and think not upon thy commandments. Read. Weigh thou therefore our wickedness, 
now in the balance, Free. and theirs also that dwell in the world. And so shall thy name nowhere be found but in Israel. But in what? But in Israel. Free. Or when was it that they which dwell upon the earth had not sinned in thy sight? Or what people have so kept thy commandments? Free. Thou shalt find that Israel by name had kept thy precepts, but not the heathen. Brother, we are spiritual Israelites, brothers and sisters, that choose to keep thy judgments and thy precepts, brothers and sisters. The ones, those of us that are married to the word. Those are the ones of us that serve with that pure heart. What is an Israelite? Give me Psalm chapter 73. 73 and 1. Psalm chapter 73, verse 1. When you get to Brother Reed. Psalm chapter 73. Truly God is good to Israel. Even to such as are of a clean heart. Brothers and sisters out there walking with a clean heart. Give me Isaiah 44 and 1. Brothers and sisters, time for us to clean up. We That's get right. there, brothers and sisters. Isaiah 44 and 1. When you get the brother read. Isaiah chapter 44. Get now here, O Jacob, my servant. And Israel, whom I have chosen. Give me Isaiah 44 and 21. Verse 21. Remember these, O Jacob and Israel, for thou art my servant. I have formed thee. Thou art my servant, O Israel. Thou shalt not be forgotten of me. I have blotted out as a thick cloud thy transgressions, and as a cloud thy sins. Return unto me. Do what? Return unto me. Do what? Return unto brothers me. Brothers and sisters, time for us to return to our fathers, return unto our maker, brothers and sisters. For as it is written, we are his fervent lover. That's right. Fervent lover. Fervent lover. Get back to second address. Chapter 6 and verse 54. When you get the brother read, second address. Chapter 6, verse 54. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. Brothers and sisters, we all come out of Adam, brothers and sisters, but he chose the ones, brothers and sisters, that resurrected from the dead and chose to walk with Christ. Read. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sake. Read. As for the other people, which also come of Adam. Which of the other people which also come from Adam which choose to still dwell as Adam and not crucify the flesh and resurrect as Christ walk in the living spirit. Read. Thou hast said that they are nothing but be like unto spit. Brothers, brothers and sisters, let's repent, brothers and sisters. We are compared to spit. Read. And has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. Read. And now, O Lord, behold, these heathen, which have ever been reputed as nothing, have begun to be lords over us and to devour us. Read. But we, thy people, whom thou hast called thy firstborn. Brothers and sisters that chose to crucify them. The brothers and sisters that chose to walk as Christ. Brothers and sisters that chose to sacrifice, read. Thy only begotten. Brothers and sisters, he called us thy firstborn. Thy only begotten, read. And thy fervent lover. And thy fervent lover. Let's get into something to this marriage, man. Hold that. Let's go into this marriage. Thy fervent lover. Give me 1 Timothy. Matter of fact, give me 1 Corinthians chapter 7 and verse 1. How many brothers and sisters are married? Know what it is to be in a relationship. Know what it is to nurture, have affection, to love and to care. But let's get the spiritual side of things. First Corinthians chapter 7 and verse 1. Get the brother read. First Corinthians chapter 7. Now concerning the things whereof ye wrote unto me. 
It is good for a man not to touch a woman. It ain't good for men to touch all types of knowledge, wisdom, and doctrine. But read. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication. To avoid the spiritual fornication. Read. Let every man have his own wife. And let every woman have her own husband. Brothers and sisters, what if I told you, brothers and sisters, that we are married to the word? That's right. We are married to the word, brothers and sisters, because at the beginning was the word. That's right. For brothers and sisters, the word is our source. Hold that, brother. Give me John chapter 1, verse 1. The word is our source. The frequency in which all things vibrate. That's right. How can anything exist if it wasn't for the word? John chapter 1, verse 1. When you get the brother read. John chapter 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. Read. And the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Darkness will comprehend this man. That the beginning was the word, brothers and sisters, and all things were made by the word. That's right. For the word is God. That's right. Brothers and sisters, what if I told you, brothers and sisters, that we are espoused, that we are married to this word? Give me 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 2. Second Corinthians chapter 11, verse 2. For I am jealous over you with godly jealousy. For I have espoused you to one husband that I may present you as a chaste virgin. Brothers and sisters, the Father, plead for your soul to prepare thee for that wedding, brothers and sisters. All he asks us to do is use this word to cleanse and embody it. That's right. To resurrect with it, brothers and sisters, for the word is light. And darkness comprehended it not. Give me Isaiah. Hosea. Matter of fact, Isaiah 54 and 5. There's some more meat on that, brother. Read that out. 2 Corinthians 11 and 2. Matter of fact, start at verse 1. Verse 1. Would to God ye could bear with me a little in my folly, and indeed bear with me. For I am jealous over you with godly jealousy. For I have espoused you to one husband, that I may present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. Free. But I fear, lest by any means, as the serpent beguiled Eve through subtlety, so your minds should be corrupted for the simplicity that is in Christ. Man, brothers and sisters, let me give you an example of this. It says, by fearless, by any means, that the serpent beguiled Eve through subtility. So our minds should be corrupted from the simplicity of life, simplicity of life. You know, one of the examples of these things, brothers and sisters, so how much we have been beguiled and corrupted, man. We are paying for electricity. And as knowledge increased, man, we get to see that these things are free. That's right. Mm. They come from the Father for free. That's right. How simple it is to live in the abundance. But yet, man, have been brought so low to a primitive, beastly estate. That's right. Corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. Corrupted. Think we need food and bread to survive from this world gives everything we need, man. Corrupted. We can do all other things, but love our neighbor as ourselves. Everything cleave up into his life. Give me Ecclesiasticus 13, 14. Hope that, man. Ecclesiasticus chapter 13, verse 14. When you get the brother read. Ecclesiasticus chapter 13, verse 14. Brothers and sisters, understand the law of attraction, brothers and sisters. We're going to get out the Father's mouth himself. Let wisdom speak of. Read. Love the Lord all thy life and call upon him for thy salvation. Every beast loveth his like and every man loveth his neighbor. Every beast loveth his like 
and every man loveth his neighbor, man. When we look at nature, all things submit to the word of God. All things cleave up unto his light. All things love of his neighbor. Even the grass cleave up unto his light. Trees cleave up unto his light. Fish cleave up unto his light. Birds cleave up unto their light. Termites, ants, anything you think of, brothers and sisters, yield to the word of God. But us, bring it out. We are the only things that cannot fulfill the design. Our design, our God given design. All flesh comes forth unto his, every beast love of his like, and every man love of his neighbor. We see all things doing it but us. Teach. Cleaving unto our light, loving my neighbor. The fish do it, squid. <laughs> Everything you can imagine. Teach. The trees, you see, when you see trees, you pine trees. Everything cleaving unto his light, man, the grass, the soil, everything. Believe. All flesh consorted according to kind, and a man will cleave to his like. All flesh consorted according to kind, and a man will cleave to his like. All things cleave to his like, spiritually as well. You see brothers and sisters full of darkness draw dark things to them. That's right. Brothers and sisters full of goodness, full of light, full of righteousness, draw the prosperity to them. That's right. Brothers and sisters, make sure we incline our ear to this word, brothers and sisters, to the ways of life, to workmanship, brothers and sisters, understanding the work master. Read. What fellowship had the wolf with the lamb, so the sinner with the godly? Read. What agreement is there between a hyena and a dog? And what peace between the rich and the poor? Brothers and sisters, all things are double, one against another. You have the left-hand side and the right-hand side, brothers and sisters. All things will put, put on the balance. All things to make it whether good or evil. There's no in-between. Give me Proverbs chapter 1, verse 1. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 1. Last precept, brothers and sisters, get back on track. Where you get the brother read? Proverbs chapter 1. The Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel, to know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding. To receive the instruction of wisdom, justice, and judgment in equity. Three. To give subtlety to the simple, to the young man, knowledge and discretion. Three. A wise man will hear and will increase learning. And a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. To understand a proverb and the interpretation, the words of the wise and their dark sayings. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. You hear it all the time, man. Most of us being in Adam and the natural state despising instruction. Only fools despise instruction. And that's what that Adam is, that first Adam man who self-willed, living for self. But we came back to, getting back to this marriage, brothers and sisters, into this marriage. Brothers and sisters, we are married to the word. Give me Hosea chapter 2, verse 19. Hosea chapter 2, verse 19. When you get the brother read. Hosea chapter 2. Verse 19, and I will betroth thee unto me forever. Yea, I will betroth thee unto me in righteousness and in judgment and in loving kindness and in mercies. I will even betroth thee unto me in faithfulness, and thou shalt know the Lord. Free. And it shall come to pass in that day. I will hear, said the Lord, I will hear the heavens 
and they shall hear the earth. Brothers and sisters, understand the Father and his premises of the ones that love him and that serve him, brothers in truth and in spirit. Father, they even betroth us, brothers and sisters, being that good husband. Being a good husband. What does a good husband do? Provide. He leads. A good husband protects. That's right. Make sure all things are in abundance, brothers and sisters, to where that the wife have to live a worry-free life. Setting up the wife in the condition of where she could prosper. Just like that seed. Making that climate just right so that that seed can germinate to bud in the beginning of you. That's what that husband does. He provides a good condition so that all things around him, him and his house can increase. Him. Just like our father's promising us. Give me Isaiah 54 and 5. Isaiah 54 and 5. How is our salvation, brothers and sisters? Our purpose is all tied to marriage, divorce, relations. When you get the brother read. Isaiah chapter 54, verse 5. For thy maker is thine husband. Brother and sister, our maker is our husband, brothers and sisters. And first, where's the word? The word was with God. For the word is God, brothers and sisters. For the word is life, brothers and sisters. We are married to the word. That's right. But read. The Lord of hosts is his name. Read. And thy redeemer, the holy one of Israel, the God of the whole earth, shall he be called. Shall he be what? Shall he be called. So let's go back. The first Corinthians chapter seven. First Corinthians chapter seven. When you get the brother read. First Corinthians chapter seven. Now concerning the things whereof ye wrote unto me, it is good for a man not to touch a woman. That's good for a man not to just touch any doctrine, any knowledge. Read. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication. But to avoid spiritual fornication. Read. Let every man have his own wife. And let every woman have her own husband. Brothers and sisters, in this case, brothers and sisters, our husband is his word. That's for right. the word is God. Our husband is the word. Read. Let the husband render unto the wife due benevolence. And likewise, also the wife unto the husband. Brother, put up the definition of benevolence. Let's get some spiritual understanding, brother. Benevolence. Can you get the brother read? I mean, we get the brother, put it on the screen, brother, please. Benevolence. Serving charitably rather than profit making purpose, brothers and sisters. It means you serve brothers and sisters will not expect a gain. Well meaning, kindly. Look at the synonyms. We serve, and it says, read that again. Keep that definition up. Keep it up there, brother. Read verse three again. Let the husband render unto the wife do benevolence. And likewise, also, the wife unto the husband. Brothers and sisters, just like a man uh, and ought to deal with his wife, meaningful, kindly, kind-hearted, good, gracious, serving with a charitable spirit rather than expecting something in return. Mm. This, how, this is how we ought to deal with the word, brothers and sisters, charitably, with good intentions, brothers and sisters, well-meaning, kindly, brothers and sisters. This is the spirit we have to deal with when we are dealing with this word, brothers and sisters. Go back. Without expecting nothing in return. That's right. Mm. But we, the wife had not power over her own body, but the husband. So we read, read, hold on, read on. And likewise also, the husband had not power of his own body. But the wife. So we read these things, brothers and sisters, in the corner, man. All the most thing he he think about is sex. That's right. Oh man, a wife she can't withhold a body from me. That's right. Oh, my husband, he can't withhold his body from me. Brothers, so that is a corner mindset. Read it again. The wife had not power over her own body, but the husband, and likewise also. The husband hath not power of his own body.
nobody but the wife. Brother, sisters, talk about how us in the word, brothers and sisters, how that the wife have no power over her own body, but the husband, how we have power over the word, brothers and sisters, and vice versa, just like the word render us judgments. That's right, teach. We seek, we deal with the word, brothers and sisters, return, the word gives us its judgments. So therefore, brothers and sisters, are balanced. But we defraud ye not one the other. So brothers and sisters, why is the scripture saying a man should defraud from the word? Why shouldn't the word depart from a man? Read. Except it be with consent for a time that ye may give yourselves to fasting and prayer. Sleeping and praying. Read. And come together again that Satan tempt you not for your incontinence. Well, give me the, the definition of incontinency. I-N-C-O-N-T-I-N E-N-C-Y Lacking in restraint or self-control. Hmm. Brothers and sisters, why is this parable dealing with the husband and the wife of withholding each other from each other? So incontensity means restraint of control, right? Go back, put me on, brother. So brothers and sisters, imagine brothers and sisters, if your husband stops showing you love and affection, wouldn't that put a spirit on you? That's right. Brother, what if your so what if your wife stopped loving you and giving it up? Bring it, Bring it out. Wouldn't that put a spirit on you, brother? Bring it out. Teach. It put an evil spirit on you. Same thing with this word. Departing from this word, brothers and sisters. Let's see the spirits that put on us as men. Ecclesiasticus 10 and 12. Hold on, brother. Before you go there, read verse 5 again. Verse 5. Defraud ye not one the other. Brothers and sisters, in this marriage, it's telling us to defraud ye not from this word. The word from you and you from the word. We go to the word when we read it, but the word comes to us when we think it. It says to fraud not this holy connection. To fraud not this holy foul. Why not, brother? Read. Except it be with consent for a time. That ye may give yourselves to fasting and prayer. Only when you fast and you pray and read. And come together again. Brother, our sister, I always come back to the word, no matter what. That's right. Read. That Satan tempt ye not for your incontinency. For your incontinency, your lack of discipline, your lack of self-control. Again, I'm asking this question again, sister. How did that spirit feel? Your husband come home no longer kissing you anymore? Bring it out. Acknowledge you anymore? What about you, brother? You come to the door, wife out, she don't even see you. No warm meal. Clothes, not iron. Everybody lacking their duty, their obligation to one another. What about affection? What is love without affection? Come to the door, no type of affection, no communication. Don't they put a spirit on your brothers and sisters? Same out. thing with this word, brother. Same thing with this word, sister. When we depart from our husband, which is our father, which is his word, the devil will tempt us for our lack of control. Mm. And as such, Ecclesiastes 10 and 12. When you get the brother read, Ecclesiasticus 10 and 12. The beginning of pride is when one departed from God and his heart is turned away from his maker. Read. For pride is the beginning of sin. Brothers and sisters began to lean on his own words instead of his father's words, brothers and sisters. As a woman began to lean on her own thoughts instead of the thoughts of her husband, which is her head. Vice versa, man with the woman. A man not taking counsel to his wife, considering his wife going out on the same things his way. Not rendering due benevolence to his wife, vice versa. Not learning all the things that we do through scripture. It causes him to have pride. To trust in himself. To trust in his thoughts, not the word. Wife beginning to trust in her thoughts, not the word. 
It causes one a brother or sister to have pride, man. And what does pride do? Verse 13, brother. For pride is the beginning of sin. It is the beginning of sin. Read. And he that hath it shall pour out abomination. Read. Now, and it's the thing. How does one know when one got pride? It may go unnoticed for a while, brothers and sisters. But one thing that is true and that lasts forever is the word. Read. And therefore, the Lord brought upon them strange calamity. Brothers and sisters, you ever see yourself going through things, man? Come out of left field and right field? It's that pride. Bring it out. Brothers and sisters, these words are true. None of these words of the father's mouth come out null and void. It is pride. Again, brothers and sisters, we are fornicators, man. Adulterers, man. You're not taking our marriage seriously. Give me wisdom of Solomon, chapter 6, verse 11. Affection. Brothers and sisters, it's called affection. Care. Discipline. Love. Let's have care for our husband, man. That's right. When you get the brother read. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 6, verse 11. Wherefore, set your affection upon my words. Desire them. And ye shall be instructed. Brother says, set your affection upon my words. Some of us, we set our affection upon sex and lust. Mm -hmm. These are the things that we desire. That's right. On the physical realm, the corner realm, man, we want to just have sex and we just want to lust, eat what we want to eat. Beach pure beast. Yeah. Eat the things that taste the best. Drink the things that taste the best, even though it's killing us. Right. Eat the things that taste the best, even though it's high sodium. Teach. Clogging up your arteries. Mm -hmm. All you want to do, man, is to desire the, 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 the physical, the deathly things, brothers and sisters. But Christ is telling us to desire the spiritual. That's right. right. Read that again. Wherefore, set your affection upon my just word. As much as you want to fulfill the lust, just as much as you want to have sex, just as much as you just want to fulfill the desires of the flesh, man. The Father say, desire this word. Desire me. Brothers and sisters, love is a two-way streak. The father doing all he's supposed to be doing. What about us? Are we setting our affection on the things that makes him happy? The things that please him? Bring it Are out. we doing all that we can to be called that virtuous woman? Are we doing all that we can to be worthy of this marriage? Bring it again. Wherefore, set your affection upon my words. Desire them. And ye shall be instructed. Some of us, brothers and sisters, have lost their way, brothers and sisters, because we don't set our affection on the words. We, this is a thing that we don't love to do, that we don't tend to, brothers and sisters. Just as a wife is supposed to tend to the husband, nurture, care, soft touch, loving, patience, temperance. We don't direct this energy towards the maker, man. But instead, we do as our forefathers. We direct this energy towards all our other lovers. Give me Ezekiel, chapter 20, verse 30. You know, we're going to play the whore. We'll give all the love, the time, the affection, all the, 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 all the love we got to give. Man, we give it elsewhere besides our father, besides his word. Bring it out. Ezekiel, chapter 20, verse 30. Ezekiel chapter 20 verse 30 Wherefore I say unto the house of Israel thus said the Lord God are ye polluted after the manner of your fathers Read. and commit ye whoredom after their abomination man some of us we all we do is just like that first Adam man self willed worried about self doing all we can to make things taste good even we know it ain't real but guess what we gonna go out our way to make sure we have it Brothers and sisters, he worked all his day in life to spend it all on some Jordans. Look at the things that we serve. Mm. Worried about self, not his brother, not his sister, not making sure her sister eating, not serving her sister, but worried about her own self. Read that again. Wherefore, say unto the house of Israel, thus saith the Lord, are ye polluted after the manner of your fathers? I mean, how many things that we put on the pedestal besides the word, brothers and sisters? How many things do we set our affection on besides the word? Our phone get more love than our God does. Bring it out. Bro, brothers and sisters, let's get real. Let's get straight to the point. We got 
people over there worshiping stones better than we worship a God of Israel. Bring it out. Some of us, some of, we got other nations worshiping elephants better than we worship the God of Israel, man. Bring it out. Bring it out. Some people are just worshiping wood better than we worship the God of Israel. I'm just being honest with you. Go pull up, go to YouTube and pull up how these other nations serving these rocks and these statues and these idolatry, these these idols. And they serve you, they serve you with rigor. Man, go to man, go put up a video how they serve a cow, man. The cow get more. When you get that brother, pull it up so the whole world can see to bear witness of how we do our God. How we do the holy one of Israel. And cut time to bring people worshiping the cow, man. Read. Read from 30 again. Wherefore, say unto the house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, are ye polluted after the manner of your fathers? And commit ye whoredom after their abomination. Brothers and sisters, man, we just doing worse than our fathers, man. We will give our affection, our love, everything we have, brothers and sisters, to everything else but the God of Israel, playing the whore, pouring out abominations, man. Look, we got this little girl, bro, this person, face towards the earth towards a cow. We can't even do it for the Holy One of Israel, man. Play the video. People in line, looking, waiting for this cow, man. Nobody in line on the Sabbath, man. Nobody in line waiting to fall face towards the earth, towards the Holy One of Israel, setting their affection upon the things of his things. But look at them. They serve beasts better than we serve the living God, man. People serve beasts. Give me another video, man. People serve beasts better than we serve the Holy One of Israel. And that's the truth to God, the honest truth, man. Bring it out. Read. For when ye offer your gifts, when ye make your sons to pass through the fire. Cause our sons to pass through the fire, man. The fire of idols. Take on the spirit of this thing, son. Take on the spirit of this, my daughter. Pass our children through the fire of idols. I know all our sisters want to be Cardi B. Pass through the fire. But we give we but we pass through the fire of this media age and technology. Pass our children through the fire. Instead of setting an affection on, on this word, on this laws, on this judgment, man. We rather pass our children through the fire. Especially when it comes to the diet. And make no mistake, brothers and sisters, the ones teaching this word get the greater damnation. Best believe that. But read. Ye pollute yourselves with all your idols. With all our idols, read. Even unto this day. And shall I be inquired of by you, O house of Israel? As I live, said the Lord, I will not be inquired of by you. And that which cometh into your mind shall not be at all that ye say. We will be as the heathen. Brothers and sisters would rather go out as the first Adam, as Adam, man. Instead of being that one that died and resurrected. Read. As the families of the countries to serve wood and stone. Brothers and sisters would rather serve wood and rather serve stone. Brothers and sisters on this marriage, man, let's make sure, brothers and sisters, we give attention and affection to the things that matter, the things that ultimately save our soul, and most important, this word. Make sure we give an affection to this word, not neglecting brothers and sisters, because they are opposite, contrary one to another. Affection and neglect. Give me First Timothy chapter four, verse twelve. First Timothy chapter four, verse twelve. When you get when you get the brother read. First Timothy chapter four, verse twelve. Read. Let no man despise thy youth. Matter of fact, start of verse 11, brother Shalakia. Verse 11. These things command and teach. Let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity. Read. Till I come. Give attendance to reading. Brothers and sisters, the Father commanded us to he come. Let's make sure we give an attendance to reading, brothers and sisters. Read. To exhortation. To exhortation. Brother exhorting his brother. Sister exhorting her sister. 
Brother washed his brother's feet. Sister dressing her sister's wounds. Read to doctrine. And to doctrine, brothers and sisters, standing in the perfect will of God. Brothers and sisters, understanding what we believe and what is true. And brothers and sisters, what is the will of God? Our doctrine of man's doctrine is his belief. What are we commanded to do, brothers and sisters? What is the will of God? Give me 2 Peter 2 and 15. 2 Peter, I mean 1 Peter 2 and 15, you like it. 1 Peter 2 and 15. When you get the brother read. 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 15. For so is the will of God. Matter of fact, start at verse 9. Verse 9. But ye are a chosen generation. But brothers and sisters, if we choose to die to death, brothers and sisters, if we choose to crucify that flesh, brothers and sisters, and rise with Christ on the third day, brothers and sisters, read. A royal priesthood. Read. Come a royal priesthood. Read. And holy nation. A holy nation. Read. A peculiar people. Read. That ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Which in time past were not a people, but are now the people of God, which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. Read. Dearly beloved, I beseech you, as strangers and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lusts, which war against the soul, Read. having your conversation honest among the Gentiles, that whereas they speak against you as evildoers. They may by your good works, which they shall behold, glory, glorify God in the day of visitation. Brothers and sisters, when they're behind the scenes, brothers and sisters, when the spirit tries you, brothers and sisters, is your spirit going to allow them to glorify God in their day, brothers and sisters? Or do they just see another version of them? Bring it out. See, one thing about us in this truth, man, we got to understand we'll be tried, brothers and sisters. We'll be tried, brothers and sisters, by fire, man. And you know, one thing that the, how the Father tries is by sending other people in our lives to see who we really are, how we really react. You know, the law of attraction states that all things cleave to his light, brothers and sisters. What about a sister of darkness come up around you? Is she going to drop darkness out of you? Mm. Bring it out. The darkness around us, brothers and sisters, are we going to make the wrong decision? Or the right decision. Always operate, brothers and sisters, standing fast in our free will to choose life and to choose death out of all situations. Some of us, man, we continue to fail our test to this day. Every situation, brothers and sisters, that we face with, we have an opportunity to choose life or death. Majority of the time, man, brothers and sisters, we show ourselves as that first Adam. Soul is being beastly by nature, ready to devour. Ready to kill. That's right. Read. Submit yourselves to every ordinance of man for the Lord's sake, whether it be to the king as supreme or unto governors, as unto them that are sent by him for the punishment of evildoers. Read. And for the praise of them that do well, for so is the will of God, that with well-doing, Ye may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men. Brothers and sisters, when you truly operate in the spirit, brothers and sisters, you put foolish men to silence. That's right. How many of us operate? How many of us had that spirit? Then we put to silence foolish men. Or does your spirit make the fire rage? Or does your spirit put out the fire? All things double one against another. How many of us had the spirit that secured the storms, that quiet the waters? Oh, we make the waters rage. We make the storm rage. We make the fire rage. Scripture say, brothers and sisters, a man of the spirit will do what? Read that again, brother. For it is the will of God to do what? For so is the will of God, that with well doing, ye may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men. How many of us doing that with well doing, man? Time for us to examine ourselves, brothers and sisters. Don't you read the class title? The marriage of the Lamb has come. The wife has made herself ready. Are you making yourself ready, brother? Are you making yourself ready? Read. As free and not using your liberty 
for a cloak of maliciousness, but as the servants of God. Using your Israel, using the liberty, the brothers and sisters, to walk as an Israelite. That's right. To serve Yah. That's right. Read. Honor all men. Brothers and sisters, for this is the will of God. Brothers and sisters, jot it down. Honor all men. Read. Love the brotherhood. Love the brotherhood. Love the sisterhood. Read. Fear God. Fear God. Read. Honor the king. And honor Christ. All oh, praise to the most high and the son. Last precept. Give me Judah. Chapter 8, verse 24. Judah. Chapter 8, verse 24. Damn, brother. Matter of fact, bro, give me Genesis chapter 7, verse 8. Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. Then you get to brother Reed. Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. The Lord God formed the man of the dust of the ground. And breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. So once you become a living soul, brothers and sisters, jump down. Ain't done yet. Read verse eight. Verse eight. And the Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden. Toward the east, toward a uh, garden eastward, brothers and sisters, Jerusalem, Zion. Read. And there. He put the man whom he had formed. And there he put the man that he had formed, brothers and sisters. Not only are we quickened, brothers and sisters, with the living spirit, brothers and sisters, we got obligations, we got a task, brothers and sisters. And the Father put us in a garden. Surely, brothers and sisters, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Brothers and sisters, we got jobs to do. We have obligations, brothers and sisters. Let's not forget that we are servants to y'all, brothers and sisters. We must serve and we must work. And what were we out to do? Read. And out of the ground. That's all, that's all I'm on, on that, brothers. That's all I'm on, on that. Give me Judith 8, 24, and we out. Judith 8, 24, and we out. When you get the brother read. Judith, chapter 8, verse 24. Shout out to verse 23, Shalakia. Verse 23. For our servitude shall not be directed to favor. Brothers and sisters not doing this to be seen. Brothers and sisters shouldn't be doing this for fame, for notoriety, but it's all vain. Brothers and sisters, for our servitude should not be directed to favor. Read. But the Lord our God shall turn it to dishonor. But he will turn to dishonor. Read on. Now therefore, O oh brethren, let us shew an example to our brethren. Because their hearts depend upon us. Sister, do you operate as if your sister's heart depend upon you? Brother, do you operate as if your brother's heart depend upon you? Or are you self-willed and selfish like that first Adam, like that first man, like that old wretched man? Self-willed, selfish. Read. And the sanctuary, and the house, and the altar rest upon us. Brother, sister, we know that the temple, the Lord's business rest upon us. Brother, sister, are you devoted? Brothers and sisters, are you taking this marriage seriously? Brothers and sisters, are you going out your way to please your husband? Brothers and sisters, are you going out your way to see your husband smile? To give your husband rest? Brothers and sisters, are you? But as it is written, brothers and sisters, we are the spouse to Christ. We are married to the Father, brothers and sisters. We are married to this word, brothers and sisters. Let's make sure that we are operating as that virtuous woman, brothers and sisters, that righteous life, tending to the things that our husbands find pleasing. All praise to the Most High and the Son. Love you all. Shalom.